The Region 6 Rapid Response Team apprehended a suspected COVID-19 case earlier today in the New Amsterdam market. More from Michael Khan. It's a life and a claim with a life. Following the apprehension of a female in the New Amsterdam market who is suspected to have contracted COVID-19, Constables attached to the New Amsterdam Town Constabulary loudly exchanged words with vendors as several attempts were made to evict them in order to have the area fumigated. It was alleged that a confrontation took place as the suspected case was approached by a COVID-19 rapid response team. However, during an interview with Channel 8 News, Director of the Region 6 Health Services, Javon Stephen, rubbished those claims. We received a call via like last evening so that potential COVID positive patient might be in New Amsterdam. Um, so we did our homework this morning. We received a photo, we see photo evidence that the person is somewhere in the vicinity of Strand, New Amsterdam. So we enacted our rapid response team and we had them to go. They, were, they, they received information what the person looked like or may look like. And they went to the market, I think the person was somewhere in the vicinity of the New Amsterdam market when the rapid response team picked the person up. Um, what I'm happy about is that the person was not uh, resistant. The person um, actually cooperated with our team and we were able to bring the person into quarantine. The director further related. She, she is now being monitored. Um, for her symptoms, once the system is consistent, her system is consistent, we'll be able to do a, a test at the earliest possible time. Um, but our rapid response team responded to a call via the COVID hotline that we have here in East Burby's quarantine. The suspected case is currently being quarantined at a facility in East Kanji. I want to encourage all members of our residents of East Barbies quarantine to continue to observe the basic guidelines that have been put in place. Um, the most important being that of social distancing. And Wednesday that we can't avoid, even avoid social distancing, we need to ensure we wash our hands as much as often as possible with soap and water. If you don't access the soap and water, then we use hand sanitizer, some alcohol-based sanitizers. Just after midday today, confusion reigned in the western fringe of the town. However, many persons were unaware of the incident. Michael Khan, Channel 8 News.